A little over a year ago, on a trip to Italy with my wife, we were standing in Pisa looking at the Leaning Tower, and I noticed something. It was a robot lawnmower cutting the grass in the fields surrounding the church and the bell tower. I was immediately intrigued, and I watched it cut for several minutes, and I just kept thinking, I wish I could have one of those. Wouldn't it be nice to never have to mow my lawn again? When we got back from the trip, I started doing some research, and ultimately I decided not to get one because at the time you had to bury a small wire all the way around the perimeter of your yard, and the mower didn't really mow in straight lines. It just mowed in random patterns, bouncing off the sides of the perimeter wire, and ultimately I just wasn't very interested. Fast forward to a few months ago, and several robot lawnmowers started coming out that didn't require this perimeter wire and would mow in efficient straight lines. I was intrigued at the idea again of never having to mow my lawn. Let's be real here. These are super expensive pieces of tech. Most of the ones I looked at were over $3,000, which is just pretty hard to swallow. In my research, I came across an Indiegogo campaign from Segway, and they were offering their backers the base model Navamo for $1,400, which seemed really reasonable to me, and I ultimately pulled the trigger and ordered one. This video isn't sponsored in any way, and I actually spent a good portion of the money I've made on this YouTube channel this year on this mower specifically, so get subscribed if you'd like to see more open and honest reviews of tech products. So after months of waiting for the mower to arrive and several weeks of testing, I'm finally ready to share my thoughts with you guys. So first, the question that all of my neighbors have been asking me, does it work? And the short answer is yes, it actually works really well. Since I set it up, I haven't had to go out and push my mower a single time. It actually feels kind of weird to think about that since the grass is always freshly cut. Now I want to make this clear, you will still need to go around an edge around the lawn since it does need a couple of inches of distance around the edges to turn itself around. But I really haven't had to get my mower out at all, and it even mows in straighter lines than I can. I was a little skeptical at first when I saw that the mower basically uses just a couple of razor blades on the bottom to cut your entire lawn, but it actually gives the lawn a really good cut. Like I mentioned, it does mow in really straight lines, but each time it goes out and mows my lawn, it changes the direction in a different mowing pattern to prevent unnecessary wear on the lawn. I think this is a pretty good idea, but I've noticed that the amount of time it takes to finish mowing the lawn changes quite a bit based on the direction that it mows. Within the app, you can change the cutting height, so depending on the type of grass you have, uh, you can mow it as low as 1.2 inches or as high as 2.4 inches. I live on a quarter acre lot and my lawn is divided into five different sections based on the sidewalk, fences, and my driveway. Overall, it's pretty flat with a small slope in the front yard, which I think is ideal for this mower. On average, it takes about nine hours to mow my lawn from start to finish, which is super slow. But because it's so slow, the blades underneath are so incredibly small that it's super quiet. When I sit on my back porch and watch it mow, it doesn't really sound any louder to me than the hum of the fridge in my kitchen. At first, the amount of time it took kind of bothered me, but the more I've thought about it, the less I really care. I scheduled it to mow my lawn every Monday and Thursday, and I don't have to do anything to get a fresh cut twice a week other than go and open the gate when I get a notification from the lawnmower saying that it can't travel to through the channel between the backyard and the front yard. When you first set up the mower, there are quite a few instructions that you need to pay attention to. There is a secondary GPS antenna that needs to be at least six feet away from your house or a tree, and I ignored that instruction in the beginning and it didn't really work out well for me. After I plugged in the charging station, the mower has you drive around the edges of your yard like an RC car, um, and you use your phone as the controller. Because of the, the uh, placement of the antenna, the first time I set the boundary, it had a really hard time detecting the edges of my home since it was so close to the home, and it accidentally ran over one of my bushes. I went back and redid the whole map after I mounted the antenna on my roof and I haven't had any issues since. I was a little worried that it might fall off the edge of my curb or wander out into the street, but it's actually stayed within the exact boundary that I've set. The first few times the mower mowed the front yard, I stayed out in the front yard to keep an eye on it. The number of people who were driving or walking by that stopped to ask me questions about it was unbelievable. I honestly think this is the first piece of tech that I've seen people get this excited about since the iPod originally came out. I'm curious to see if any of my neighbors pick one up in the next couple of weeks, because they've sure asked a lot of questions. Speaking of interests, one of the other big concerns I had was theft. 
it's pretty expensive and I'd hate to have someone snatch it out of my front yard and drive off with it. It does have cellular connectivity built in, which will supposedly alert you if it goes more than 33 feet outside of your yard. Just to be sure it would actually work, I decided to simulate stealing it myself. And so I pulled up in my car uh, while it was mowing and I grabbed it out of the front yard. And as soon as I started driving, it started to sound the alarm. I also got a notification on my phone saying I should check its location as it was no longer in the yard. There's a section within the app that allows you to view the Navamo's location based on the cellular connection. So if it was actually stolen, you'd have a location to send the police to to investigate. The mower is also bound to your account, so it won't mow the thieves lawn if it gets stolen. Speaking of cellular connectivity, it uses T-Mobile and the first year of service is free and every year afterwards it renews at $32 a year. You can't switch networks or SIM cards, but for the peace of mind, if it were to be stolen, I think it's well worth the $3 a month. The cellular service also allows the mower to send you notifications if it can't connect to your Wi-Fi around your home which I found really useful since my home's exterior is brick. While my overall experience with the mower has been great, it hasn't been flawless. Last week, when the Navamo was trying to get to my front yard, the gate was closed and it lost network connectivity, and it tried for quite some time to get through the gate, and it actually dug two small holes where the wheels are in front of the fence. You'd think after a couple of attempts of getting stuck, it would just give up and go back to its charging station, but it just sat there until I noticed and opened the gate. A quick reboot of the Navamo got the connectivity figured out, and I haven't had any of these issues ever since. If I could do it all over again, I'd still choose to buy the Navamo. For the price, it does everything I want it to, and I'm looking forward to not having to mow my lawn anymore. Segway does have a few different models of mower though, and I think I would have probably gone for one of the larger battery options since my mower does have to go back to the charging station really often, and it would really co cut down on the amount of time it takes to mow my lawn. Since this is a first generation product, it's going to have a few quirks. I think the hardware is really good and the software will only continue to improve as time goes on. One of the things I don't like is that right now there's no way to tell the mower to mow a specific area or zone of your yard and it has to just mow the entire lawn from start to finish. I'm sure this will be changed in the future, but as an early adopter you can expect it to take a little while for these quirks to get fixed and for additional features to be added. But what excites me is that it already works really well and it's only going to get better from here. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing for more honest reviews. If you have any questions about the mower, please comment down below and I'll try and get them answered.